Hello everybody and welcome to the Film Review Central channel with me Kieran Goodins. I hope that you're all well. Really excited to talk about this movie here today only because I've not really spoken about a DC animated movie before here on the channel so something really nice, something really original for the channel because today saw the release of Watchmen Chapter 1, a brand new DC animated movie that I really wanted to check out because I've always been fascinated by the Watchmen characters and they feel like they've been underrepresented in terms of me film media. So I'm really looking forward to talking about this movie, Watchmen Chapter One. Here we go. <laughs> So going into the movie, like I said, I have watched a few DC animated movies. I'm a fan of superhero movies and I'm a fan of animation. So the mixture of the two works quite well. And I do think DC really prioritise animated movies. There's a lot of movies coming out each year from different you know, pockets of the animated universe and also of you know, very, very different characters. I've liked some, I've not liked uh, others, but I do think DC really do make some really great animated movies as a whole and this overall idea of direction that DC are taking now that you almost sort of have to feel like you follow all the medias to kind of understand what's going on in this all connective universe so I've been paying a lot more attention to the DC movies obviously that has been a strategy that has worked because a lot of people are going to do that but I checked out the Watchmen chapter one movie today and it's fine. It is nothing incredible. It's nothing fantastic. You know, Watchmen have had a few iterations. They had a movie in 2009 that was directed by Zack Snyder. Um, and that movie was all right. I, you know, I have checked that movie out. I've not checked out the TV show that came out about three or four years ago. But for me, I think what is focused on probably too much with the Watchmen characters is that they're trying to nullify them as much as possible to kind of make them kids friendly you know PG rated you know sort of movies where they're not pushing that hard R you know ideas I think that's a massive mistake on their part you know I don't want to talk a lot about this but I think moving forward with Gunn's you know direction and his ideas in this overall DC world I think the Watchmen can absolutely come into that but I do feel they have to make it harder we've got now a reputation of these characters um, if they're going to be like Deadpool or Logan or characters like that which have had RR movies and people have really liked them I think Watchmen need to step into a much more mature genre uh, genre and age rating and really make sure and utilise them characters as much as possible but I think in terms of this animated movie i think what the characters are great is that they're completely creative completely new you sort of feel like you're watching something original even if you haven't seen any watchman media you sort of feel like you are well aware of the different types of these characters the ideas that they explore and the edginess as well which i think was really really strong in this movie um animation it was okay it wasn't fantastic um i did feel like there was a lot of moments in this movie where the animation could have been potentially a little bit stronger. Um, we follow one particular character uh, who is investigating a murder uh, of one of his fellow Watchmen. You sort of see the structure of the story, be this idea of following him on a journey and and his, you know, miss, you know, trying to solve this murder. But you, always, you see these flashbacks where the gentleman that has been murdered, you sort of see exactly his faults and a lot of faults as well how he annoys a lot of people it's a lot of strong opinions he's dealt with a lot in his life so i do think that structure i think worked for a murder mystery kind of doing flashbacks and back to the present day i don't think that there was anything wrong with that could i think i don't think they could have maybe done a little bit more original ideas potentially if a lot of people do you know, enjoy the Watchmen characters, could they potentially go something very different in terms of having this big superhero ideas, potentially? Um, I do think, personally, a murder mystery story of one of their own dying, I think it's quite stereotypical in that sense. Very easy, very easy to um, apply to the screen. But th I, I do think that this movie was solid. 
you know, like I said, the animation wasn't that strong. I do compare it to What If, and the problems I have with the What If show is that they are very basic animation. Potentially something else could have worked really much better. And this is only chapter one. It's an incredibly short movie. It does a lot of build up. It does a lot of setup. That's fine because you attach chapter one on there. And it's going to have the massive payoff in chapter two, whatever that will be. We don't know a release date for that yet. But, you know, it is incredibly short. It, it has a sense of urgency, which I liked. It didn't touch on, a, you know, loads of loads of these different characters. I think the, you know, the moment the cast is very controlled, it's for, you feel like there's loads of different directions that this story could potentially go, but they'll all be very realistic and I think still very strong. So for me, it, it was a solid movie. It wasn't the best animated movie I've seen all year. It's probably not one of the best DC animated movies I've watched before. But for me, it's a nice, solid movie, really pleased to see Watchmen have some form of media whether it is in animation or not and you know hopefully this movie can project in this idea of having a live action Watchmen movie giving them their full you know praise and, and really putting them in in the correct environment with a lot more of an R, R-rated sort of bloody edge that I think is really necessary and I think if anybody will give characters chances like that it will be the main man James Gunn. So for me personally, I will be giving Watchmen Chapter 1 a 6 out of 10. So that's it for my review of Watchmen Chapter 1. Let me know what you think about the movie in the comment section below. Fill that with all your awesome opinion. We'll be checking this movie out. What are your thoughts on the Watchmen as characters? And have you ever known anything about them? Just fill that comment section with all your awesome opinion. Cannot wait to be reacting to all of that. Like and subscribe to miss any of the uploads. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to make the conversation about film and TV sound just a little bit more interesting. See you in a bit.